Welcome to my new home gym. Once upon a time, I had this wonderful home gym in California. Absolutely loved it. Very convenient, wonderful option. But then we moved, had kids, expanded the family, and just never had the space to make it happen. But we're committing. We're gonna make a big transformation and build ourselves a home gym now. It's gonna be a lot of work. All right, day one complete. Time to go and ditch a bunch of the garbage. All right, so yesterday I was able to patch all the holes and now I'm just gonna be scraping some things down to try to even out the walls. I've got previously speckled walls in there and with patching and sanding, it's just not gonna look great. So I'm just gonna sand out and scrape down the whole wall. It's gonna take some time. <laughs> This is tedious. All right, walls are mudded, scraped, prepped. Last thing, gotta clean them. Gotta make that paint pristine. So, let's get wiping. All right, time to paint. All right, so we ran into a little bit of a hiccup in uh, there's a bunch of forest fires going on, so we paused the gym build for a few days, but back onto it. I've got all the mats in place, organized the gym, and now we're gonna move on to laying out the gym equipment. All right, so I've got the actual cable stand built, but I have no idea how to run the cables. So, pull up a YouTube video, see if I can figure this out. All right, first tower assembled. That's it for tonight, folks. All right, on to tower two. Oh, thank you. Can you put it back? What are you doing, kid? Second tower is built, just gotta run the cables through. But I've maxed out my time for tonight, so I'll try to sneak in here early tomorrow morning before work and get that done. All right, so I have both towers built and put together now entirely. Time to combine them. Then this functional gym is gonna be raring to go. Hey, you wanna test this out? Box, just a couple accessories left. A little D handle for some back attack. <laughs> this is heavy. Woo. That is a pretty terrible. All right, all the major work's been done. Everything is unboxed, assembled, reasonably put together. Time to clean up, organize, and last finishing touches. All right, we are getting some lights put into the garage, and then we are on our final stages of getting it all set up. So while the electrician's putting the lights in, I'm gonna hit up Home Depot, grab a few final things, so that way I can get everything set up and completed. All right, lights are in and they are looking spiff. Let's have a little peek. Those are nice. All right, now the last thing I need to get going for the garage is some storage setup. Overall, things are good, but I got a few issues with plate storage and then some attachments and um, some other fitness equipment that I need to just have easy access to. So I'm gonna get a DIY plate storage setup. I'm gonna build that now and then probably get up some pegboard tomorrow and then clean her up and she'll be ready to look at.
right, so I was supposed to try to do a third rep, but a little worried that I was gonna fail. Probably would've been loud and woke her up. So, pretty solid. All right, time for back offs. All right, front squat's all done, and look who came to join me. Now you're eating a banana? Yeah, you're so cute. Time for some deadlifts. Transforming this garage has been a huge project and I'm virtually done. I've come to a culmination of where it's basically 99% there and I want to give you a tour of what it's looking like. Having lived here for a few years, the garage essentially turned into a storage of just random stuff that we didn't want to deal with. And while that's a really common situation, I didn't want to have that. I wanted a place where I could go in, train, get after it, and not feel like it was a hectic disaster. So for the last few months, I've taken on the project of clearing out our crap, getting rid of it, either selling it, donating it, taking it to the dump, whatever I have to, to trim it down. Then I went through the aspect of actually trying to turn this place into something that looked nice. So I went through cleaning it up, then sanding down, scraping the walls, painting, getting some new lighting, filling out the gym to actually have some nice clean mats and equipment. So let me give you a tour of what this place actually looks like. All right, welcome to station one. This is the cardio center. Now I've ended up choosing a bike to have in my gym for a couple of reasons. Number one, I've been doing a lot of indoor cycling for the last few years, trying to become a lot more proficient at it. Number two, it's a very small dimension, so it doesn't take up a lot of space versus having like a treadmill or a rower. Then I ended up going with the Wahoo kicker bike because this thing is sick. Number one, it can do so many things. It can handle my high strength outputs. And then two, it can change angles. It can work synchronized with a ton of different softwares. And then I also have a fan, which I can slap up here and turn on and let it actually time up with a similar airflow as what a real ride would be. Typically, I pretty much just have my laptop here and watch TV shows, but I'm trying my best. This bike is able to be adjusted. So my wife comes in sometimes and does riding and we can change every aspect of it between the two of us to have a really smooth individual ride, which is just fantastic. And then I've got a Husky station for all of my tools, which I still use. Still do a lot of renovations around the house and different projects. So I needed to have some Something that would work for both a nice clean aesthetic and then also be actually functional and usable. So this thing is loaded up to the gills right now with tools. Now let's check out the strength station. Now into my favorite station, the strength area. So trying to stick with the similar theme, I wanted something that was low profile, giving me a lot of utility, but didn't take up a lot of space. So I ended up finding this all-in-one home gym from Bells of Steel. This is a very slick unit for a lot of different reasons. Number one, I wanted to be able to do squats, bench, etc. So this provides a way of having a rack. I can change the heights, have it support my barbell, but it also allows me to do some cable exercises. So each of the uprights is actually attached on and has a stack height that I can use and do different cable exercises with. And something that's really cool about this one in particular is it actually has a dual cable having two different separate moving arms on each upright. So with that, I can do two separate exercises, one on each stand, having different weights loaded. Plus I can still use a barbell all at once. I'm usually a little bit short on time, so it's common that I do a lot of supersets, even when I'm at the other gym. So being able to replicate that here is really awesome. Now with this, a couple things to check out. Number one, got my daughter's barbell. She loves that. But I ended up going with a Bells of Steel barbell. I just wanted to have everything nice, smooth, similar. So this thing I've been loading up, it's been holding up really well. Just did a couple of close to 550 pound deadlifts and no issues yet. So when we're checking out this thing, it comes as two separate pieces and then you can attach it with a pull-up bar. So again, where can I find ways to have a lot of different options in a minimal space? So this gave me that viable place. Pull-ups and then I'm able to, I, I went with a stack or sorry, a uh, plate loaded option. Waiting for the stack, number one, was gonna take a really long time. Two, is gonna increase the cost. So I just wanted something that was gonna be affordable and was able to get going soon. Then you can see that you're able to change the heights as usual with the squat rack. Then you can also change this to whatever height you'd like. So if you wanna do 
a lap pull down, if you wanna do a low row, if you wanna do a cable fly, you can adjust every detail with it. I also ended up getting some safety pins. Normally, when I'm at my main gym, I don't use safeties and I just dump a bar if something bad ever happens. However, usually when I'm training here, my daughter's taking a nap. So the idea of dumping, you know, 500 pounds off my back, probably not a great idea. I also don't know if my concrete can handle that. So getting some safeties was something that I thought was a good choice. So far, I haven't needed them. I also ended up going with a kettlebell. Ooh. This sucker's heavy. So Bells of Steel makes an adjustable kettlebell, which I think is pretty slick. Again, talking about low profile, all those kinds of details, I don't have a ton of space. So having one kettlebell that I can adjust to a wide variety of weights is just in line with that. So this thing can go as low as I think 10 kilos and then as high as 32 kilos, which is awesome. So I've been able to do a lot of exercises with it. Again, pairing it up with barbell and then doing kettlebell stuff at the side. Pretty easy to adjust. It's just a Allen key and a wrench, which comes with it. And then you just take off the bottom, change out the plates quickly, and then get back to the training. So it works really well. Next thing I gotta show you are my weights. Now, one thing I didn't think about initially was weight storage. At first, I just tossed the plates on the ground, but that was realistically not a great solution long-term. So the next thing I did was I bought a weight tree, which is okay, but a big problem with it is it's not designed for bumper plates. So it can't hold very much of the actual weights. So then I came to another option of building a wall storage system. So I put this sucker together and it's been fantastic. I'm a little hesitant about recommending it because I don't know how long it's gonna hold up for, but so far it looks pretty sturdy. Um, obviously I've got a lot of weight on it right now with the 25 kilo plates, the 20s, 15s and 10s, but it seems to be having no problems so far. So it's a really good option. It looks nice. It doesn't take up virtually any space and it's really easy to pull weights on and off of. So if you are building a home gym and you need something like this, there's a lot of tutorials that you can find online. I'll try to link some in the description. And uh, so far, it's working out great. The last piece that I added to the gym was this pegboard. Again, I've been focusing on trying to find some different storage strategy options, and I was having all these smaller little things that I didn't have a good place for, so I put this together. It's been really good. I gotta get more peg pieces, but so far, it's going really well. I've got a spot for my shoes, different hydration statuses for when I go for a run. I've got the add-ons for the cable station, and then just a few other little knickknacks, my sword from the Complete Human Performance Crucible last year, and just all these little random things like a spot for my belt and straps. And then finally, we've got this corner. So a couple of details. Number one, this is still a garage. I still need a place for storage. I still need a place to come and actually do some work. Right now, I've got this long deep freeze. I wanna replace it and be able to move my bikes, have them stored over here, but just don't have the finances for it yet. So you'll see that in future videos probably. Then we've got this rack. I used to have two of them, so it trimmed down a lot, really cleaned out a lot of the stuff, but I still have all of my camping stuff, beach stuff, and then tools and cleaning supplies. So there's just only so much I could trim down. All in all, I think I've really slimmed it down and maximized the space. This is a single car garage. It's not very big, but I've got a lot of utility out of it. Now, the last thing that some people might be wondering is, why did I make a home gym? Great question. I do own a gym, but there are a lot of times where I'm not able to get there, whether it's because my kids are sick and I need to stay home with them, which is not a infrequent occasion. If you have kids, I'm sure you can understand and relate. Then there are times where I'm just not able to get out of the house and being able to come here quickly, get a session in, just increases my consistency. So if you're someone like myself who is really busy, has a family, having a home gym, something that you can quickly access is huge. Thanks for checking out my crib. Time to go train.